Have you ever wondered why psychology, a field dedicated to understanding the human mind, often shies away from acknowledging spirituality and the concept of the soul? The difference lies in their approach. Psychology is rooted in the empirical, studying behavior and the mind from the conscious to the unconscious, while Jesus was talking more about objective truth when he said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And psychology has a stance more like that everyone has their own truth. So what do you think is more true? Spirituality, on the other hand, ventures into the metaphysical, probing questions of God, purpose, cosmic existence, and the soul itself. Despite their differences, both fields aim to promote mental health and well-being. But can they truly coexist or are they incompatible at their core? When it comes to mental health, psychology and spirituality often seem to be at odds. This tension originates from their differing approaches to mental health. On one hand, psychology is grounded in empirical science. It leans heavily on therapy, medication and scientific research to understand and address mental health issues. It views these issues as disorders, anomalies in the brain's chemistry that need to be rectified. Conversely, spirituality takes a more holistic approach. It might involve practices such as meditation or prayer, or seeking a higher purpose or connection. Here, mental health issues are often seen not as disorders but as spiritual crises or opportunities for growth. They are viewed as signals from the soul, urging us to confront deeper issues and evolve. While psychology seeks to treat symptoms, spirituality encourages us to delve into the root cause, to explore what our innermost selves are trying to communicate. It's a journey inward, a quest for internal harmony and balance with God. Yet the irony lies in the hash fact that despite their differing perspectives, both psychology and spirituality are striving towards a common goal, to help individuals find peace and balance. They both seek to alleviate suffering and promote well-being. It's a shared mission albeit approached from different angles. But despite their differing perspectives, both psychology and spirituality aim to help individuals find peace and balance. So why does psychology often dismiss spirituality? It's no secret that psychology, despite its advancements, has yet to find a cure for many mental illnesses. While it has made strides in managing symptoms and providing coping mechanisms, psychology often grapples with the limitations of its own methodology. Its focus on the mind, while indispensable, may not fully encapsulate the complexities of human experience. On the other hand, spirituality, often dismissed by the scientific community, has shown potential in helping individuals find healing and inner peace. Anecdotal evidence abounds of individuals who have found solace and even recovery through practices like meditation, prayer, or simply reconnecting again with God. The need for more research is clear. But alongside this, we might also need a paradigm shift, a willingness to integrate the unseen, the intuitive, the spiritual into our understanding of mental health. Perhaps it's time for psychology to embrace the mysteries of the soul and the potential of spirituality. After all, the journey to mental health is a personal one and it may well be a journey of the soul.